Lucy, she's just so cute. In fact, the first time we watched it, I called her and I'm like, oh my god, Lucy, you were so stupidly cute. <laughs> Especially the first time you see her and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I was sleepy. I was like, oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> the hard thing for me with Orphan is I always think Honey is a girl because it's Lucy. And so, and I do that a lot. I'm like, oh, I love it when Lucy does blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Honey is a boy. Honey is a boy. Um, my favorite character, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's in, in the first 14 episodes, but my, uh, there is Oran. Um, my favorite character is actually Honey's uh, younger brother, who is played by Aaron Dismuke. And, oh, oh, he's funny. You wow. never have any doubt in your mind that he absolutely hates Honey. So it's very, very funny. Aaron does a wonderful job at the show. So I'm, I'm very excited it's coming out. It comes out next week. I actually have the first two discs with me. So, uh, and I just got my Vic and Caitlin and all of them have had theirs for a week. But I just went up to Dallas to work on a new secret project and I was like, can I please have my Moron disc? I would like to have them before everybody else does. So, well, yeah. I got Moron, I got my Moron disc and I got my Becky Spring and Summer OVA disc. So, well, yeah. Uh, my question is, uh, when you when the series are selected, is there a how does that work? Is you mean do we get to bid on what characters we want to play? No, well, not just no. that. The show is there any sort of quality <coughs> score like that, or do you do you, or do you just take what, what happens what what happens to really, really be a promising product? I'm not sure if I really understand. You mean like do we have any control over what shows we work on? Yes. Uh, as an actor, you can always turn down an audition. Like, if you're asked to audition, in fact, I know Vic, uh, <coughs> there was a show that Vic was asked to audition for, but because of his beliefs, he thought it was a bad show that he didn't want to be a part of. And you're, you're always given that option. Speed Grapper was one of those shows. Speed Grapper is a sexual show. It's a very violent show. Um, in fact, <coughs> and Aaron Dismuke is in that. Aaron Dismuke plays my brother's character, who's the main villain, as a child. Aaron recorded his entire role for that show with the monitors turned off. Because there's stuff going on on screen that is so visually not cool, and they're like, okay, Aaron's just a 14, 15 year old boy, he can't watch this. So he did it blind, like he didn't even see the animation for that. But um, we're never discouraged for not doing something we feel strongly about. Uh, other than that, though, we're actors and we want to work. And, uh, what, what I think you find is that any role that you get cast in, you can find something about that show to enjoy. Um, there's been only one show I've ever worked on that I didn't like. And it was just because as an anime fan, I'm like, this is one of those shows that doesn't know what it wants to be. Like the whole time I was working on it, I was like, this is poop, you know. I don't want to say because I know about anime, the show that I hate is someone's favorite, so I never talk crap about shows. but. But yeah, we do we do have a choice. We don't get to choose what we audition for though. And that's why you hear sometimes us tell stories about begging to audition for certain shows. Because um, I almost didn't audition for Negi because at one time Funimation didn't want one person having like the lead in all the shows at the same time. Well, I knew Beck was coming up and that's the only show I wanted to work on. I had, I had been talking about wanting to work on Beck for two years ever since I met Kobayashi. And so uh, they were like, well, I need you to audition on for something and warm up your British accent. And I'm like, I'm probably not going to audition for Negima. And they're like, and I said, I want to be in Beck. And they're like, you can do both. I go, I want the lead in Beck. And they're like, but if you're the only person that can do Negi. So like, I was kind of asked nicely to audition for Negima. And, uh, and I, and I, you know, I ended, play, ended up playing Negi, and then I still got to play Koyuki and Beck. Um, but I think it's also a bad idea to turn down too many auditions, uh, because it's a weird job. Being an actor, part of your job is making the people that you work with like you. It's not like, you know, you can work in an office building and go, I don't care if you don't like me. I care if directors don't like me, because directors ultimately choose whether I get a part or not. So like Lucy and I have talked about that, that this is one of those jobs that part of your job goal is to make the person you're working with like you and like working with you. So uh, I try to be as available and understanding about anything. If somebody, if people always, especially those of us that do a lot of big roles, 
people will say, uh, do you mind auditioning for a little role? And I'm like, no, I love little roles. Um, my role, the, one of the things I make jokes about is my role in Alchemist. People are always like, oh, I bet you wish you were this and that. I was like, I, why can't I like my little role in Alchemist? I think that role is just as cool as Alphonse or anything else. What are you doing, Alchemist? <laughs> I will say this only because it's the Greg Eric panel. I never tell anybody when they bring me alchemist stuff unless they know. I play the creepy lizard chimera, the freaky lizard that runs, you know, the one that ends up floating down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because the thing was, no, I wasn't working at, at Funimation full time when they first cast that show. Camera. And several people, Justin Cook, Mike McFarlane, yeah. are like, oh my god, I wish we knew about you when we were casting alchemist. But Mike McFarlane is one of my best friends, and he kept going, dude, I'm going to find a really fun part for you in this show. And I'm like, dude, it's no worries. You know, like, I'm not one of those people that has to work on Alchemist. Like, I think Evangelion and Chrono Crusade are good enough. You know, like, it's not like, oh, if I'm not an Alchemist, I'll die. You know, like, I was working on a lot of other cool shit shows at the time. But Mike kept saying, you know, uh, I'm going to find something fun. And he finally, he, when he found the role he wanted me for, he, he called me up giggling. He goes, I think I found something you're going to like. And I was like, what is it? And he goes, he looks kind of like mini-me with a big nose and a long <laughs> tail. And I was like, is it a chimera? He goes, oh yeah. And I was like, awesome. Well, the other cool thing about doing a role like that is I was only on screen for what? A total of maybe 40 minutes. Tops, maybe not even that long. In that, in that, you only have to preserve your voice enough to do that for those 40 minutes. But like, if you have a lead role and you pick to do something really horrible with your voice, you have to maintain that the entire series. Which is one of the reasons Negima, while I love watching it, is one of my least favorite projects to record because it hurts so bad. Because it's that squeaky church mouse voice and the British accent. But with Alchemist, I just went in and sounded like a crazy wicked witch and acted goofy and, and it was over and it was fun. But it's funny because people always ask me, are you okay with auditioning for a small role? Um, some of my favorite roles I've ever done in anime are tiny. Um, Kaoru in Evangelion, while not a tiny character, only on screen for maybe 20, 20 minutes. I think it's actually only like 14 minutes. I think somebody did a deal on it. They said, oh, you did Huh? You did powder. I'm one of the three people that did powder. And the you funny thing is, people? all three of us are friends. That's the weird thing. And we all know each other from weird walks of life. Kyle Sturdivant that did Kauru in the original TV series, the one that sounds the most feminine of the three Kauru, um, he I know from theater. He and I did theater together in Houston forever. Aaron Crone, who did it in the movies, his mother was my first dance teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I, Aaron and I, I can tell you stories about Aaron and I getting in trouble on a theater trip to New York. So like, I've known Aaron forever, and so then when they did the director's cut of Evangelion, they couldn't use Aaron because Aaron has another role in the show. Aaron Crone, not Aaron Disney. Um, they couldn't, see you later, bye Rodette. Um, and they couldn't, they couldn't, they couldn't, they couldn't find uh, Kyle Sturdivant because he was doing, he was off doing a French theater project. So they were like, do you mind doing this? That being said, I loved that role and it was only two hours of recording time. Uh, I play a role in a show called Salty Ray that is a phenomenal character. He's only in two episodes. But his storyline is so awesome. I've got a great role in Hell Girl. I play this awful David Blaine type of Nelly little boy magician that challenges Hell Girl to a fight and gets his butt handed to him. But uh, his name is Gilles de l'Enfer. He's like this totally shifty magician. Um, my character Mushishi is just a one episode character. I love... Some, the cool thing about anime is you tell a really nice story, aside from telling this overall story, each one of the episodes are usually wrapped up in a nice story. And playing a, an episode character is just as cool because you tell like a mini story. And so I love some of my smaller characters. I absolutely love them. But, uh, and, and finally, my last question is, uh -huh. uh, how is your work affected by the rampant piracy? Well, I'm the, I mean, I'm the first person to actually in the industry make a big stink about that. I mean, for four years, I've made it my job to stamp out fan subbing and BitTorrent sites because they are single-handedly killing this industry. Yeah, um, um, has that affected the flow of um, 